Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today we're going to go over the Keystone Montana High Country 379RD. Absolutely gorgeous floor plan. Let's start on some of the outside features here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. So right up front, as you'd expect, you have the one-piece fiberglass painted cap. Has a great look to it. Uh, of course, helps prevent some water penetration on the front side as well. Then you will see you have a mirror right here front and center that way when you're backing up your tow vehicle you can make sure you are able to align the hitch with the kingpin there's also a light there the led light which is nice and bright so uh, if you are backing up at night it just gives you a little more visibility let's go ahead and shoot underneath here right over on this side i'll open this up you'll see a nice clean compartment uh, you don't have a bunch of cords and pipes and stuff hanging down here. It just makes it really easy to store anything right here. And then over to the side, you will notice you have your battery box. This is where your battery will go right here. Of course, that is already vented right outside for you. And then you again, you have another light right out here. And one, again, if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Right down below, you have your auto level system. Just touch the button, it will level itself out. That is a standard on the high country. Take a look at the windows real quick for me. Frameless windows on the high country, which are absolutely gorgeous. They definitely have a better look than your normal framed windows. The other nice thing about frameless, you can have these open while it's raining because the way they open up. So if it's rainy out, you don't want your uh, RV to get all stuffy, you can still open those up. Plus it does a better job of protecting the seals because they are behind the glass so they're not constantly getting beat up by the sun and the elements. We take a look right up here. This is one of two of your propane tanks. You have a 30 pounder on this side as well as a 30 pound tank on the other side. Then right over here is the large pass-through storage. You'll notice a couple things. One, it's a slam latch baggage door. Notice how it actually works. A lot of manufacturers are putting on less expensive slam latches some of them are calling compression latches where you actually have to push them shut. Not the case here. It's a real product right there. It shuts the way it should. You'll also see it has magnets, making it nice and easy to go ahead and put that door up. It's not sitting out here in your way. If you take a look at that, look how big the storage is. That's because Montana utilizes drop frame construction. If you take a look underneath, you can see the I-beam that normally runs across. See how it drops down right here and they have the second I-beam? That is just as strong as having a solid I-beam and it gives you that massive pass-through. So why wouldn't you do it? You will see in here you have some TV connections as well as a light in case you are getting in there at night. You also see an electrical outlet right out here. If you want to plug anything in, you don't want to have this open, that's a spot to do it there. Four steps to get into the high country with the foldable easy grab handle. This will ensure that if you have bad knees all from the first step all the way in, it's a nice uh, short rise here. So that way you won't hurt your knees getting in or out of the coach. Also the grab handle right here will assure that even if it's raining or slippery out, you will have a good grip so you don't fall and hurt yourself. Take a look right over here. Uh, both of the axles here are, are, rather the wheels, are aluminum alloy, so that way not only do they look great, but it also helps prevent rust and corrosion. Then right in between, you'll see this little blue guy there. What that is, that is the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension system. That does a great job of taking some of those uh, bumps and stuff. When you're towing, it'll take those bumps right out, just making the high country a great towing fifth wheel. If you take a look up at the top, you see you have a big power awning there too. Just one touch of a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. Of course, it has LED lights there as well. And one of the things I love about this floor plan, if you take a look, you notice how you don't have any vents here. You don't have your refrigerator vent. You don't have your furnace vent. So this whole area right here is usable camp space underneath the awning. You also see you have two outside speakers. Those are controlled by your multimedia center inside but it's Bluetooth capable. That way you can sit out here in your chair underneath your awning and still be able to control your music. Again, you can see the leveling system right down there. And also you can see right behind that is your spare tire. It has the BAL tire carrier, which is a much easier way of accessing the spare tire. No longer do you have to be on your hands and knees or on your back underneath the camper, you know, looking up at it with rust and stuff falling in your face. With that, you just crawl underneath the slide, pull a pin, that allows you to pull the tire out and then down. 
Another great thing about the High Country is this right here. It comes standard with the tailgate storage system. This allows you to put bikes back here. You can put totes back here. You can put wood back here. It just makes a nice extra system, especially for things that you don't want in the camper or to bring with you in the truck. You'll also notice there's a rear mounted ladder. So that way you don't have to put a uh, ladder in your pass through. It's already on here. If you need to climb up there for any kind of maintenance, you can. It is a fully walkable roof. And then right front and center there, uh, you see that this one is prepped for a backup camera. This is a big coach. If you want a backup camera, and I recommend it on a larger one like this, especially if you're not very familiar with backing up a fifth wheel, then it is a heck of a lot easier to have installed there. One of the other things Montana does very well is on the off door side, they have your centrally located convenience center. Take a look, this literally has everything you need here. It's wonderful. You have a light up top in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night, your outside shower, everything for winterization is here. You can put your glycol right in there, bypass your water heater there, you know, flip on your winterize, makes it super easy. Uh, your water connections, black tank flush, your gray and black valves are here, your low point drains. This of course is where it comes up and in all your cable inlets and a battery disconnect. I mean, they really have done it right. The other thing I want to mention, you'll notice right over here, this is your auto level control. So you can, of course, control these manually if you so desire, but this is auto level with a memory. So when you're done camping, you can push a button and it will go right where, back to where you dropped it off at. So you can literally just back your truck in, hook up and go. Welcome to the inside of the Keystone Montana High Country 379RD. Let's go ahead and start off on the kitchen. You'll see you have great countertop space in here, lots of prep space, and it's all beautiful solid surface countertops. You have plug-ins both over here as well as right over here, so multiple places which you can plug in a coffee pot or blender, whatever else you need to plug in. You'll also see that they give you a flush mounted cooktop and sink top cover. So again, this whole thing can be used as prep space. This cover just folds up and back, kind of doubles as a backsplash here. And that will reveal your three burner Atwood cooktop, the front one being high output with an oven here underneath. You have some excellent drawer space running down, four full extension ball bearing drawers there. And then you have additional storage here here and right over here. Now what you will see is the storage underneath the sink has your trash can. This is where that would go. And then the storage right over here has something very unique too. It has a little wall in there. The purpose of that is for your sink top covers. Normally you don't have a place to put these. They're gorgeous. You love having them, but when you have to use the sink, you're like, where does this go? Well, Montana has solved that. It's nice and easy. You will see there's a little half wall in here that just sits right back there like so. So it might be a little hard to see in there. I know it's a little dark, but that is where both your covers can store. Uh, so if we go back up top here, of course, if I take this other side off, you will see the undermount stainless steel double bowl sink. It is a uh, even split. Makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes, especially when you have a pull out faucet there. Now, if you take a look right here, you'll see you have slow rise shades in the kitchen. I like that too. A lot of times you'll get the regular blinds here. Montana does give you the slow rise. You actually have slow rise roller shades throughout the entire RV, which are definitely an upgrade. They just work a heck of a lot better. Uh, I also like the fact they went with beige and not black. Helps keep it a little bit brighter in here. You take a look up top, you can see you have massive storage going all the way down here. I'll open that up for you. Now, granted some of this, if you're not super tall, you can't reach. I mean, I'm six foot and I can barely reach the tall one here. Not that I have a huge wingspan, but um, you know, for some of these, you probably will want a small little step, uh, step stool just to make it a little bit easier to get up there, but they did fully utilize the space. Right over here, again, you can see some additional storage there. And then right underneath that, of course, is your oversized 30 inch microwave. So nice, big microwave. Of course, it's Montana. You know, it's what you come to expect, high quality components. Uh, you can see kind of like this little uh, crown molding they have here, it's pretty neat. They put backlighting behind that, which I like. Of course, LED lights all around to make it nice and bright. If we take a look at the ceiling, couple other things up here, you have a big skylight here. Now this does have a shade in case you want to close that off. But again, you either need some kind of extension pole or a ladder, you know, step stool to be able to get up there to close it. Uh, right over here, 
you have your Max Air fan. This does an awesome job of creating a cross breeze through here. Or if you're cooking something, you know, maybe cooking bacon, you want to get the smell out of here nice and quick, that is the way to do it. Uh, that also does have a rain sensor. So if it does start raining, that will automatically close there for you. Then if you look right over here, you will see you have a ceiling fan in here too, again, to help recirculate the air. Also all along, uh, you know, you can see the blue accent lighting. You have that in several locations throughout the coach. Just again, gives it that nice look and appeal. Right over here, you have a little bar top, uh, you know, probably more for decoration than actual use. Uh, but you know, if someone's sitting here in the theater seating, you want to hand them a drink, you're in the kitchen, you can slide it over or whatever, but it definitely does add a nice visual piece. Now, as we step back into the rear den, this is of course my favorite spot in this RV, which you would expect it should be. Uh, right here is your big dual theater seating. Both of these do recline. You have cup holders right there in the center. And that, of course, is a straight shot across to your entertainment center right over here. There's also an electrical outlet on the wall there. So if you do need to plug anything in when you're sitting there and charge your cell phone, you're able to do that through, hey, throw it up on that little ledge, right? Uh, so that's really cool there, too. Now, on both sides, you have dual opposing slides. Both of these have a tri-fold sofa. They're able to do that because Montana utilizes a wide body, so uh, they're able to do dual trifold rather than one of them having to be a jackknife. They both do fold out into beds, and they're very comfortable beds. So if you have guests that want to stay the night, you can sleep four people back here, which is really cool. And as you can see, obviously, these are very comfortable. The bed, what they'll be sleeping on, utilizes the couch cushion itself. So uh, again, it'll be a good night's sleep. They won't have a bar in the back or have an air mattress that's going to deflate on them. Take a look at this too. Again, as I said, I'm six foot. Look at how easily I can stand underneath this slide. You have nice high slides here in your living room. So when you're getting up from the couch, you're not going to worry about busting your head up there. Now, right on the back wall, of course, is your entertainment center. TV front and center there. Uh, it's a nice big TV. You have the 50-inch TV. So, again, if you're at the theater seating, though, it's definitely the ideal spot. Uh, and then right underneath that is your sound bar for great sound quality there. That is Bluetooth capable. Along the bottom, you have this nice brick look. Of course, it's not real brick because that would weigh far too much. Uh, but it does give the nice aesthetic there with the fireplace in the center. The fireplace not only looks cool, but it is quite functional. Um, you know, if you're out and about and you have an electric hookup, this it does a great job of taking the chill off in this space and you don't have to use propane. So if you're not paying for electric, that is free heat. You also see on both sides, right underneath the windows, you have dual windows too, in case you want to look out back. But on both sides, you have electrical outlets down there. Storage on both sides here too. And then in the center, you have some additional storage. Uh, right here is your DVD player. And then again, you have the auxiliary lighting going across the top. As we make our way back up, let's talk a little bit about the AC. If you take a look in the center here, you'll notice you don't have the big white box you normally have. Instead, you have air intakes on both sides. What that represents is that this unit has the uh, quiet, cool AC. That is a phenomenal thing to have, especially in your living space like this, where you're going to be talking, watching TV, that's about 30 to 35% quieter, which if you've had experience with ACs and campers before, you know how loud they can be and can truly appreciate having that. Rounding out the kitchen here, you know, we talked about all the countertop space, but of course we didn't talk about the refrigerator and it is right over here. You have this beautiful stainless steel Samsung residential refrigerator. Take a look at this. You have massive space in here. You have crisper drawers there. You can take a look right underneath here. You can see you have dual freezer compartments in there as well. Uh, you know, I like the residential trend. I have some, uh, some other colleagues of mine, other people out there that don't really care for the residential refrigerator, say they have problems. That has not been our experience at all. We've done great with them. They've been great on the backside too. Uh, and why wouldn't you? I mean, it's beautiful, especially if you plan on taking this somewhere as a seasonal. This is definitely the way to go. Right over here is our freestanding table and chairs. Uh, now this is the way it came from the manufacturer. They're obviously strapped in there, um, but it's nice to have four chairs here. I like this over a dinette. It looks a little bit classier and you have plenty of sleeping in the back. So uh, this is definitely the method I would prefer is having the freestanding table and chairs here. Windows around, roller shades of course, LED light there up top. As you move over here, you have this nice little hutch bar area again solid surface countertops you know they didn't skimp out here didn't just give you you know like a cheap looking wood or anything you have uh the electrical outlets on both sides so if you want to you know create a coffee bar over here you can do that 
But you'll also notice some controls. These are your lights. This is the max air fan I mentioned. And then you have your thermostat control right there. A couple of drawers here in the center. Uh, right down below, you'll see some additional storage. You have that on both sides here. I'll open that guy up for you so you can see. I mean, this whole thing of storage, nothing here is taken up, which is quite nice because generally in a hutch like this, you know, some of these will be taken, but not the case here. Take a look up top. You have great storage up top here. You have this on both sides, the nice frosted glass in the center. Then you can see how much storage you have there. Underneath, you have a wine rack here too. Uh, even if you don't eat, you know, if you're not a wine drinker, I still think it's a pretty cool look to be able to put some wine bottles in there, just classes it up a little bit. In the large bathroom, you'll see right over here, you have the porcelain foot flush lover toilet, making it nice and easy to clean. Up above that, you have plenty of robe hooks right there for towels or clothes. And then right over here, you have an excellent linen closet, lots of room for towels and other bathroom accessories. The one-piece residential shower has a tri-slide glass door, great shelving. You'll also see the hand wand making washing up easy and a large skylight up top giving you lots of additional daylight and some additional headroom. And then right over here, you will see your sink top and vanity, great countertop space, storage underneath. And then right up top, you have a mirrored medicine cabinet. The bedroom has a slide out walk around king bed. You'll see you have shelves and windows on both sides. Uh, so that we have a place to put water, cell phone, and the windows will give you a nice cross breeze. You'll also notice you have USB ports on one side. So if you want to charge your cell phones there, you can. As well as electrical outlet. So if you have a CPAP machine or something else you need to plug in, it is easy to do that. In the very nose of the RV, you'll see you have a large wardrobe, big shelf going all the way across the top here, hanging rod across the bottom. And if you want washer and dryer, you can have it installed here. Two separate units there, one on either side, and it still gives you plenty of workable space. Right outside the wardrobe, you have this nice bench seat right here. So you have a place to sit down and put your socks on in the morning. And if you lift the seat up, you will see there's a net in there. So that's a great place to throw your dirty clothes, just a built-in clothes hamper there. Right above, you have a window, again, with your roller shade. And then next to that, you have a 32-inch TV that is all framed out. Electrical outlet right underneath for any auxiliary equipment. And you have a couple of drawers right there underneath. Uh, last thing I want to hit on while we're here in the bedroom is right up top, you will see there is a second AC. So you don't have to worry about being too hot on those really hot summer nights. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Uh, again, this is the Keystone Montana High Country 379RD. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.